Hi, my name is Sigmo, and I welcome you to another section specifically to discuss the professional qualification syllable for ICA and the relevant changes to the syllable, which is effective from this November 2024 to November 2029. Several videos have been done on the other subjects on the syllables. I'm hoping that you can watch them, but today's session is dedicated to paper 3.2, that is that advanced audit and assurance paper. The advanced audit and assurance paper. So we'll quickly move on to look at the, the relevant content of these syllables and then discuss the changes thereof. So what has been the content of this subject, that is the paper triple two, advanced audit and assurance in the new syllable. Now the content has been now well beefed up for a few changes I will discuss this soon. But the regular issues of ethics and also legal issues and accepting and managing engagement is weighted at 10 marks. Engagement plans by how to plan an engagement. The regular planning of audit of historical financial statement is still weighted at 10 marks. Audit and assurance and methods of gathering evidence that is procedure, being able to procedure or recommend procedures and being able to uh, reduce evidence from scenarios in the era, the knowledge is required there is for a max of 20 marks, which is very heavy. And also how to evaluate evidence and reach conclusions, mostly the issues of review, as well as being able to prepare your audit report going for 20 months. And then also we have the need to appreciate issues of public sector. In the past, uh, this was never in the level two audit and assurance paper. Now, statutory issues of audit in the public sector is now also dealt with in the level two audit and assurance paper. And in these syllables, it's still 20 marks. The first thing you need to know is to know the role of government and all the external audit and public accountability in Ghana, which is for 10 marks. And then also public sector auditing, the various types of auditing in public sector, which is what we actually had in the old syllable performance on compliance of the financial auditing in the public sector, this has been fairly uh, what late in these syllables again. So public sector is still pending up in this new syllable. Then very much a major issue now is issues of corporate government. In the old syllables, this was uh, an issue that had not been well or majorly emphasized. It was part of the ethics and legal issues that is under the 10 mark area but has now been approved and set aside as a single course paper or core issue for 10 months. So corporate governance now is a, is a separate issue in the audit and assurance syllable. For contemporary issues and current development, still be the thing as we used to have it in the old syllable, we have current issues still repeated in this syllable. So these are the key contents of the audit and assurance uh, subject, but I want to now Take you through the major change, the major changes that we have seen in this new syllabus regarding the paper 3.2 advanced of the assurance. Ethics is now a major issue, ethical value and how to resolve them. That's become a major issue and all in a way to improve students' knowledge in applying professional skepticism, how to evaluate uh, articulation for an auditor in terms of business risk. They need to understand how to evaluate business risk also been emphasized in this level, issues of accepting an engagement. How are you able to uh, consider the relevant issues in accepting an engagement? It's also been improved in this level, including those regarding IT. Because in going to audit certain entities, you must be sure if you have the relevant IT capacity to be able to audit those entities. In the advent of uh, AI, cyber security and fraud, you must be able to plan in accepting an engagement that will then combat these issues. Then also being able to exercise professional skepticism and judgment has always been the, the, the key capacity that an auditing student must have and obviously has been emphasized in this syllable. Then also corporate governance has been included as a separate learning objective, which we have already discussed, has now been set aside as a learning objective for 10 months. Then issues of sustainability auditing. When it comes to sustainability, we are all aware that it's now a major issue. When it comes to some non-assurance engagement, 
or some other assurance engagement, sustainability of the now a major issue. And students are prepared to us. The issues of auditing of digital assets is now a new area and has now been included in the capability to two advanced audit directions. So these are the key changes which we have witnessed in these levels, specifically on the audit and assurance, specifically advanced audit and assurance data. And I'm sure you are preparing towards these changes. You can also immediately register for our tuition program, expected to cover these syllables well, help students to appreciate all the changes as well as prepare them to understand the dynamics of the syllable. So register for our tuition, regular tuition, as well as modular or intervention or our offline program. The choice is yours today, but you can do that by downloading our mobile application, which is on all platforms, that is on Android, iOS, as well as the Microsoft Store, and download that and immediately register and sign our tuition program. For this video and several others on the changes in our syllabus, you should immediately like this page as well as comment below the video and share with your friends so that they can also benefit from the knowledge regarding the change in syllabus. Thank you and once again, my name is Sigval. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.